action, action, action. I don't know, since I haven't been able to go outside, hopefully next few days I'll be good to go out where I need to go with my knocking on trees with a baseball bat. There's some things I want to go over here that I have found very interesting. Uh, wrong area, wrong area, wrong student mocking area. I gotta go over that story, man. That was a... Someone need a smack upside their head story. Where was it? Google Maps. Oh, wait a minute. I wanted to go over Wikipedia, too. <laughs> Other than that, I got some stuff that I need to go over and cover. Due to the fact... It's all coming together once again. And, uh... Of course, once again, Wikipedia, putting up stuff that a few, five, six years ago I did not ever see. <clears throat> and a lot of notably, 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 notably uh, public figures of Fitchburg, I'm very shocked at the list we have. And, but I wanted to go over this once again. Of course, I have my home down here. I'd like to show everybody. This is my home. <laughs> this is where I put my home. Alpine Cemetery. Which, if you drive by on Alpine Road here, this farming area, you don't see a cemetery. Because I think it was a family cemetery. And for some apparent reason, someone got their self-cemetery sucked up by the jungle you see here. And there's... I have a video of it. I believe it's called Alpine Cemetery, but uh, as you can see, there's no cemetery here. Come to find out... It, yeah, looking into stuff like Wikipedia and all that stuff, the stuff that don't come up. This came up later on, of course. Looking into it, and there was a family cemetery, and where it is to be now is unknown. Could be in the woods, maybe could be moved. Whatever the case may be, I claim this to be my home. <laughs> I love it. But anyways, what I wanted to go over here in this diaphragm of mapping is uh, River Street runs along here. Of course, we have... The Nashua River that runs along here. This is uh, all factory area that now turning into, you know, uh, living areas and some of these factories here uh, still uh, shut down. This right here is the new Massachusetts the departments of uh, DDS. Uh, not fuel assistance, but DTA all moved in this building. Anyway, screw that crap. I found out where the old, uh, Ivor Rivers Johnson factory was. I will see if I can get that video out tomorrow, unrevealing of it. But literally what I wanted to go over on this is that uh, the lay of the land here. And when you do go on Wikipedia, it does claim. Now, back in, like I said, no friggin' lie, back in 2014, no, 2015, 2015, I looked up Wikipedia and I looked into Fitchburg. There was nothing mentioning the John Fitch getting kidnapped by the Indians and brought to Canada, Ontario, Canada, mind you. And a year later, were brought back and they lost a child. Um, I have my videos up on that. And the only way I found that, and I claim it in my videos, was due to a dream 
of two men telling me to check the John Fitch mines. And when I went on the internet and checked the John Fitch mines, an old Amherst College article came up. And in there revealed that John Fitch was kidnapped by the Indians. I'm telling you right now, there was nothing when I started looking for Indians in the Fitchburg, Lemonster area. I can tell you right now, there was nothing on Wikipedia. There was nothing coming up in articles on the web. Now all of a sudden, everybody's got articles about Indians throughout this area. And of course, I'm going to do a little diaphragm of my belief of where they, of course, lived. And yes, I keep saying it, and I'll continue to say it, all along in this area, uh, from... Ringe Road, I'm going to start. I mean, it could go on over here more, too, but I'm going with Ringe Road to Route 12. Now, these are my thoughts, my theories, and due to someone coming up to me or getting in touch with me and talking about this ma uh, mass, the Dublin's Flat Rock Wildlife Sanctuary, in this area, all right here, is rocky, hilly, and so forth. And like I said, right along the Nashua River, runs all the way through here from there to Route 12. And all in this area, I'm claiming the Indians lived. And the reason why I say this is for one, like I said, someone had told me that Indians lived up in this area flat the sanctionary place and they go there right there you come up here further you know go down here Ashburnham Hill Road right here Revolution Cemetery now as I was looking into the um, history of you know Ma uh, Fitchburg on Wikipedia I also found out the, like the geographical part the tallest hill in Fitchburg is Brown Hill another thing that I why I'm claiming Indians lived through this whole area and you'll know why because Brown Hill is and the dots are gone now, but right here, see this rocky area right here? This is indicating to be Brown Hill. And this is right off of Caswell, Caswell Road and Crocker Road. I don't know why they got two names on this road, but they do. It's a double name road, but, and of course... And this road does not go through, I don't think. It might now. When I first did my investigation of this, and I went up on the Revolutionary Cemetery long, long ago, was, you know, hearing about all the stories. Of course, I did never make it up there to a party, I will admit. But one day, like in the early 2000s, I was just curious of what was up here. Ended up stopping... I believe, yeah, this, oh yeah, it's still out, this road here is out, I drove all the way up and I got to this house and I had to turn around, but like I say, this road still goes through, it goes in the Jewel Hill Road, but this farmhouse and all this area right here, when you go up in this area, I'll tell you right now, you get a nice, clear view of Mount Watchus, Mount Wachusett uh, Ski Lodge. Which, mind you, when I say in all my videos, when Indians used to peek up over the mountains, tops, hills, to find Mount Wachusett, this is what you get. You go on top of these hills like Jewel Hill Road, 
You stop in front of this farmhouse, perfect, nice, beautiful view. And I'm going to say this brown hill being the highest elevated, you know, mountain or hilltop, so forth, right here. I guarantee you get a nice, clean, beautiful view of Mount Wachusett. And why am I saying this, of course, if anybody knows where I'm going with this, but like I said, Indians live throughout this whole area. And why? Because at the Dean Hill Cemetery here, the Rev, two times I went to this place. One in 2014 on the 11th of November, and I went back on the 11th of November last year, and I got knocks both times. So, Indian dwellings, Bigfoot. Indian dwellings, skinwalkers. Anywhere an Indian living ground is, and I'm claiming this right here, not only because of the hills, but because of the big deep meadows. You see these green patches, them are called meadows. And when Indians used to hunt, they go to meadows. Or they go near, you know, during storms in winter, pine trees. So I am claiming this whole area from right, Ringe Road and over. All this area right here, land of the Indian. Especially Burbank Hospital is a hill, mind you. You cannot see Mount Wachusett, but you see Rollstone Hill. You see all the other hills around it. Well, no, not the other ones, but Rollstone Hill you will see. Well, if, if you would, if you could see the, you know, what the trees cut. But anyways, I mean, that was like a pass by, I would say, as they travel. But this whole area, and like I say, I went up in this, right here, this street. I got this messed up with the one by, it's Caldwell, and I got it messed up with Coswell out by the Revolutionary Cemetery. I thought these two connected. They don't. My bad. I know I said that in the previous video, but I went up in this hill one year. I think it was like 2013 or 2012. And I was, uh, had to put the carrot, but I got up in this area, man, and there was all kinds of wire hanging off the trees and, like, pots and pan type things, metal articles sticking on these wires. Now, this place is known for sacrificing satanic. There's a flat rock in the woods somewhere. And I believe they might have closed it all down. Of course, you can't get up there because the Overlook Reservoir is here now. And the water supply is up here. And this is a dead end. Goes into a mountainside type hill also. Coming up on this street. It's all city ran. But yeah, when I went up there, I never found that flat rock. But I damn well knew the way someone had that set up. Someone knew something. Someone was doing some stupid shit. But. All in all. There's like a stream brook coming down. Rockside Hill too. In this area. Right in this area. In these trees. On Caldwell Street. So you know damn well the Indians. Would pass by there. Or get a nice drink. Whatever the case may be. It's, uh, but I am definitely putting this on the map as where a lot of the Indians ran and lived. Due to the, if you get, what I wanted to say is you go on uh, Rollstone Hill, you will see Mount Wachusett. Also, there's another hill over by uh, Franklin Road, over by the golf course. And you get up in that area on Franklin Road, you can see a nice clean shot 
of Mount Wachusett. But I'm thinking this heavy wooded area because it's a sectionary. There's another part over here that's a state park. You no, know, and a lot of state parks ran with being Indian dwellings. So I'm just putting this all on the map. Because I was told that Indians lived over there, so I'm putting it all two and two together. Especially up the Revolutionary Cemetery where I heard the knocks. And like I said, whenever you hear a Bigfoot story, there's always an Indian land, Indian dwelling, Indian somewhere around there that lived. They encountered them a lot because I think they made them. So... Anybody going through that area of Fitchburg now? And this is the area where I get the bad vibes. I mean, I get them vibes. They're not bad to me, but I know they're bad. And I'll wander through there anytime I please to find my Indians <laughs> or Bigfoot or even a skinwalker. Because also, I'm claiming this. Why? One more thing and then I'm out of here. Because over here in John Fitch Highway, there's a, this road right here, this part of Ringe Road. A little brook or river runs through this. And I, this is where the church is here. And right around in this area, right across the street from the church, it's all where a big white ball, white orb just sitting there floating in the air. And learning about Skinwalker Ranch, that's what the skinwalkers do when they're traveling in their big white ball of orb. So, I mean, that being said, that's why I'm going with all this area around here. I mean, hell, even over here there's some, you know, there is a farm and I'm going with this place. There it is, too. I gotta get up here. I'm gonna try and sneak up here one night. Right here, this farmhouse, I believe, is Abel Baldwin's house. He is the man that put a curse on Fitchburg of Sodom because they would not let him build his own church of religion. The first Baptist church built in Fitchburg was made for everybody, and he did not like that. So he got fined, he got this, he got that, he got harassed. So he put a curse. And that's when my troubling story comes in, that I stood on this man's grave, near his gravestone, and said right out loud, man, Mabel Baldwin would be flipping in his grave if he knew that there was like 20 churches now in this town. And so and behold, the story of my next encounter with the evil spirit. Something did bad happen. But you can check out my videos on that. I still gotta come forth and try and get through it. I feel like I kind of feel like I had something to do with that. Because anybody standing on somebody's grave that did cause some havoc to the town and put a curse and what he wanted in the town and then he didn't get it and <laughs> I'm over here talking about 20 churches and he couldn't even have his one it's like whoa what did I stir up but still this farmland existed in Indian days I'm for sure that's why it was built there Soil, I guess Fitchburg had a lot of good growing soil. As you can see, it all lines up. It's all in there. So I'm claiming all this area to be Indian dwellings. I mean, I do know of one part, but I think there's many more in this area. So that being said... What I'm going to do when all this weather clears up, I'm going right here to this Rock Wildlife Sanctuary. I have done walk the path through there. I do get my eerie feeling and why, and why I want to go here because like I said, it's not too far from where I had this little encounter over here in John Fitch Highway of the church. 
Right here, as you can see, it's not too far off. I think there's something in these woods why I get my eerie feelings. Whatever the case may be, Bigfoot, Skinwalker, this is my next stop with the baseball bat. Now, hopefully, I don't get the stupid dog next door that always barks when I go up there. Oh, how annoying is that? I should call the, uh, the, uh, ah, darn it. What are they, the, the pet control, whatever, the pet cops. <laughs> I can't remember the name. Whatever, the pet cops and get them in trouble for leaving their damn dog outside late at night with coyotes. Never to make case may be this is my next stop. And thanks for the rain that just occurred because it made all the snow melt. And this place is going to be opened up again. I was supposed to go there, but things happened. The snow came. But thankfully, the great Indian chiefs up above brought rain. That's right. My Indian rain dance. <laughs> this is my next stop. Take myself there. Here's the trails right here. As you can see, they fork off a bit in the beginning of the woods. I'm going to see how far I can get in there and start a tapping. See if I get any knocks back. Because this area is also not too far off from the Revolutionary Cemetery. Which is, uh, where are you again? Right there, the Rev. I think whatever's up here travels through these woods it's got the uh waterway here you know that's right so it travels in between and that's what i'm going for the knocks i gotta get out here again too because i wasn't even thinking of that i just wanted to get the knocks i did get the knocks but now that i got the knocks two times i'm gonna get back out here and do the bat. Then we're going to be playing some serious game. Because if there is any kind of caves. Which there was when John Fitch got kidnapped mind you. Over here where I, be I found is where John Fitch lived. And he lived off this farm off of. Uh, damn it. Bear with me. No. Where did you go? Damn it. <clears throat> I'll show you something real quick now, too. Oops. Come on. Over here. Pearl Hill Road. There you are. Pearl Hill Brook. Where's Pearl Hill Road? There you are. Right over here. Bring you down here. Whoa. Wait a minute. Where the hell? Oh, is that it? Oh, there it is. Right here. He, they said that he lived on the line of Townsend and Fitchburg. And this is the only intersection right here that leads right into Townsend. Because right here is the end of Pearl Hill. His farm, I believe, was right in here. This is still a farm area. I believe that was John Fitch's farm. Come over here and you're already in Townsend, West Townsend Road, New West Townsend Road. And right in there is Townsend. And he lived in this area, so... Right there would have been his farm, or over here could have been his farm near the brook. But all in all, John Fitch lived here. Bring it back, and that too is not far from where I... You know, and bringing all this. And they're all, oh, that's the, what I wanted to show you. And when you travel Pearl Hill, all along here there's a mountain ridge. Well, a hill, but all ledge. Rocks, and up in here is also a cave. And this is another thing I found out in the John Fitch Mind Dreams. Believe it or not, a two ghosts had to be talking about John Fitch Minds. I check it out and I get all this information. So long in here in these ridges 
it's a uh, cave that the Indians waited, made their attack down the hill here, and uh, took John Fitch and his family off to Canada. So, that's my next stop. All around here, baby. And then you got the Woolard Brook State Forest, mind you, up in that area. So, yeah. Pearl Hill State Park, all state parks and conservation. Bleh. Con- conserve. No, god damn it. Conservation land. That was all sacred land, I believe. I believe to be Indian dwellings. That's why they're parks now. Conservation land. In reservations. So, all this area, I'm calling it. That's my thoughts and theories. Till that next video. Hopefully, in a few days, I guess it can be a few days, I'm being out there. I'm getting out to that friggin' spot. And I'm knocking on the trees at night. Oh, I can't wait to see what I get out there. Till that next video. And then there's another place I'm gonna get on the Ashby. Hill, oh damn it! Now I gotta do this. One more thing off of Ringe Road. There's another road up here where I saw, where someone claimed they saw the Batman, and someone is claiming now Ashby West Road that there is a friggin' type of Birdman out here in Fitchburg. I forgot where I read that, but all in the all in the triangles, all Sasquatch, Bat Squatch, whatever you name, whatever you got. We got it here, baby, in Fitchburg, too. And out here was where I saw this damn porcupine on this road. I mean, a uh, raccoon with porcupine quills, quills in his face, the poor bastard. And, uh, but he did look like he had rabies, but he also looked possessed. His eyes were pure white. And I forgot to ask if if anybody knows, comment please if rabies and animals make their eyes white. Because if it don't, then that damn thing was possessed. <laughs> and also, skinwalkers take form in raccoons. Out.